So Josh, we're uh, about a week and a half into pre-season now. How are you feeling so far? Tired, but really good, yeah. Um, it's been brilliant. A lot of lads have come back really fit. Uh, everyone's had a good break and let their bodies sort of recover and everyone's come back flying, which is brilliant to see. So you had a good summer then, did you? Yeah, I had a good summer, yeah. yeah. Got a good few odd days with you know, family and friends and stuff like that, so I enjoyed it, but back to work straight away as soon as I got back from the holidays. It's needed that, isn't it? Just a bit of time away. Yeah, I think um, you know it's tough sport mentally and physically football. So I think um, you know going away and just sort of switching off from it all and letting the body recover and also your mind recover is quite you know key to you know having a good season next one. And when you first came back, it was uh, straight into a running test, wasn't it? Yeah, straight into the running test. Yeah, but you don't expect anything else when you're coming back into this. You know, you make sure that you stay fit through the off season as well, which is important because if you get injured during pre season or anything, it, it does have a massive effect on the season. So it's good to make sure that you try and stay fit during the off season as well. Well, it looked like uh, everyone seemed to do well in the, in the, not just the running test, but the entire first week. Uh, we had a few new faces in, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, straight away with Ryan and Danny. Yeah. And more recently, Adam as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how do you feel like they've settled in the group? Oh, they've settled in absolutely brilliant. You know, I think the, the lads here are absolutely fantastic. They're a great group of lads, and they're very welcoming to everyone that comes in. It's, it's really nice to see. And and Danny and Broomy and and Adam as well are also brilliant lads. So they've settled in like straight away, no problems whatsoever. Do you feel like you can uh, try and spark, like spark up a partnership with uh, Adam as well? Because with the potential left back partnership, and maybe you cutting back on the inside to uh -huh. centre half again. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, he's um, he's a brilliant lad. You can tell that already, and, and he looks really good uh, on the ball as well. He's a fit lad as well. So hopefully, you know, this, hopefully we we'll get a couple of games in over pre-season together, and we can maybe build a little bit of a partnership. Yeah. So moving on to Watford now. We've been here a couple of days now. How have you found it out here so far? Yeah, brilliant. Um, you know, the training facilities are good. Uh, the, the town's nice and quiet as well, so it's it's nice to sort of you know chill out and come back in the town after go for a little coffee and stuff. So yeah, it's been brilliant. Training's been hard, which is which is nice. So I've not really been seeing much of Waterford, just seeing my bed most of the time. But yeah, it's been been brilliant so far. And the weather's been great up until today. Up until so. now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it has. It's been it's been absolutely fine. Yeah, no issues whatsoever. Sometimes it can get a little bit too hot in Croatia last year. We struggled a little bit, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. How do you feel it compares to Croatia? Because that that seemed more of like a hot weather camp, which is like you'd say kind of needed, but uh -huh. also this is preparing you for exact playing conditions for at home. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, the the, the heat doesn't bother me too much personally. Um, I quite I quite like the heat, and I, and I don't mind training this either. I think it makes this this makes it a little bit easier. But like I said, we've been worked a little bit harder than we were in Croatia. Probably, I feel like we have anyway. So it's probably balanced it out quite well. And you've had you've had a session this morning ahead of the game tonight. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you feel the lads are ready for a full 90 minutes now? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think lads. I know the game was behind closed doors against Burnley, but I think the lads performed quite well in that game, especially for only being back a few days. So I think you know we can only sort of keep on building from that, and and you know hopefully we can you know go and put out. It's, it's not so much about you know results and stuff like that at the moment. It's about getting bonding back together and you know you know understanding how each other wants to play and stuff like that again because again we've only been together as a proper team really for six months. So I think this is going to be a great pre-season for us to learn. You know. How to, how to play with each other even more and, and you know, get to sort of building, get back to playing how the gaffer wants us to play and the patterns and stuff we need to enforce into the games. You could tell in training today that that, that sharpness is starting to uh, bleed back into the mm -hmm. squad, especially after the, the Burnley game, as you mentioned. Yeah. That's crucial going into this war picture, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is. I think um, the first sort of few days is always a little bit sluggish, from, you know, when, especially when you've got the ball at your feet, but after you've done a week's worth of training, you've been, you know, playing with the ball quite a lot I think it comes back quite quickly so I think the lads are sort of getting to the stage now where the hard stuff's almost done and we can sort of start focusing on football and, and you know the, like the patterns and tactics and stuff like that which is which will be nice. And it's going to be a tough game isn't it because they're in the middle of their season mm -hmm. so you're going to face a virtually informed team as well. Well exactly yeah they'll be flying they'll all be you know as fit as they need to be and, and you know we're not quite there yet but we're not far off it so it will be a tough test so I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be weird as well that there's some familiar faces in the squad with uh, Barry over on their side yeah. and we've got Phoenix on our side mm -hmm. so do you feel like there might be a little bit of a clash there? No, there won't be clashing. It would just it'd be, it'd be brilliant. It's always Barry's a great lad as well, and you know, and Phoenix. I'm sure Phoenix has seen as like a god over here, and he so I'm sure that um, he'll enjoy it as well coming back here. And, and yeah, it'll be nice to see them and play against him because we obviously met up with Barry Bagley the other day. He came over and said hello to the boys and stuff. It was nice to see him. So it would just be nice to play against them and see how they're getting on. So we've got uh, just over half a week left here. Uh, what, what have you got left in store? 
Like, to the what the plans are, yeah? No, not so much. We normally just get a schedule for the next day, which is which is absolutely fine. Um, and yeah, I think we'll have you know a couple of tough sessions again coming up, and then uh, we've got the game on Saturday, haven't we? Before we fly back, so yeah, we just look forward to the last few days and make sure that we put the effort in. And just looking at that, that on the final day, we've got Dundee as well. Yeah. So not only have we got a tough fixture against Waterford, we've got the champions of the Scottish Championship uh -huh. as well. So yeah. It's going to be a tough pre-season. Yeah, of course it is, and, and the games don't get any easier when we get back home either. So, but that's what you want. You don't want it, you know. They're the sort of games you want to play in, in pre-season. You want to test yourself, and you want to, you know, push the team and push your your own self to make sure that you're performing against decent teams.